Hey guys, Matt here. Um, wanted to share my CBCS submission that I just got back recently. Um, I'm gonna try and go through these pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, it's first probably, I don't know, eight, nine books. Um, were my disappointment books, but the rest of the order makes up for it. Um, with these books, uh, it was just, you know, I, I either rushed through them, I, I put them into at the last minute, um, didn't really get a look over them as much as I should have for that reason. Um, and just a lesson learned, like don't, don't rush it through, like really look over your books, make sure you look over every angle, every side, and even flip through the inside. Um, so yeah, lessons learned. And, and also get your stuff pressed. If you have expensive books, even if you think it's perfect, get a press. Um, I got lucky in a bunch that, um, there were probably half these books, well, not half, about, um, a good handful of these books I didn't get pressed and I got nine eights out of them. Um, but other ones I kind of paid a price for, for not getting them pressed and it would have made a big difference. Um, all right, so let's go through it. Uh, Avengers Spider-Man 9, 9.4. Outcast 1, 5th Anniversary, Black and White, Comic-Con Variant, 9.4. Uh, Justice League 40, um, Combo Pack Variant. Um, yeah, I didn't take it out of the poly bag. There was a crease right there. Take it out of the poly bag. Uh, Justice League 40, 9.2. I think they're kind of harsh on some of these grades because I don't see some of the, um, flaws that they noted in the notes. But, you know, okay. Um, here was a book I did get uh, did get pressed by Trey, um, but you'll see there's a couple of books coming up that had some um, moisture uh, staining issues. This does not have a stain on it, but it got knocked off, knocked down from moisture waves. Um, I think from this issue, uh, so I think I'll, I'll crack it again. Send it, send it back to Trey. This was a CGC 9.6 that I cracked. Um, why did I crack it? Well, it just had this one small little line down the middle here. Um, it was like a very faint crease. Trey pressed it out. It looked great. Um, so I thought it was an easy 9.8. Um, but yeah, I got dinged for those moisture waves. Uh, here's one I absolutely should have got pressed, 9.2. Um, uh, it's totally pressable, the, the stuff that's with it. Um, stuff that's in there. So yeah, I'll, I'll crack it. Get it pressed. Um, all right, next up, uh, is a beautiful 7.5 copy of Uncanny X-Men 510. Um, this is one of those books you see on eBay and you're like, why do people get this graded? Because this was one that Trey pressed and it looked amazing. It, I thought this had a chance at a 9.9. This is like, if there's going to be a book that's going to get a 9.9, it's this. But this, I looked at the notes. When I saw 7.5, I obviously freaked out. And, um... And I looked at the notes, I said, massive staining on the back. And I was very confused by that. But yeah, here you go. This whole, this is not oil slick. This is, uh, uh, this isn't the case. This is some form of staining. Um, I don't know how it got there. It wasn't there when I sent it out. Um, Trey didn't see it when we pressed it. Uh, it either hap happened during shipment, um, during shipping, or when they had it, when CBS, CBCS had it in their hands. Uh, they're looking at it now, um, so hopefully they do right by this book. They're saying that, that it's probably not them because it was dry to the touch when it got to the grader, and I'm like, of course it's dry to the touch. You had it for two months sitting in a safe. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. We'll see. I, I hope they do right by it. It, it kind of makes, uh, uh, it's kind of make it or break it if, how I use them in the future. Um, Uncanny X-Men 5, I'm sure it's just a one-off, but whatever. Um, Uncanny X-Men 5 9.0, uh, Greg Horn and Venom Variant. Uh, this was another book that Trey pressed, and it was a fantastic copy. But the notes came back as there was some staining in the logo. I don't know which logo. I don't see it at all. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just crack it and resubmit it to, um, CGC. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It was a bummer. There's nothing in there. Um, I guess I have to get a black light out or something and check it out. But yeah, this this was a bummer. But I think it'll be okay. The Campbell variant, though, the 510 is dead. Can't come back from that. Um, Punisher 3, 9.6. Uh, just a note. Uh, this got dinged one, um, down to a 9.6 because of a production line. 
Um, that breaks color uh, right here. Very faintly, kind of looks like a dotted line. I didn't think they would ding it for it, but they do. So if you see any issues like that, uh, even if the book looks flawless, uh, be careful. Uh, all right, let's go through this really fast. Justice League 40, First Grail, 9.8. Batman 21, Combo Pack, 9.8, First Duke. Um, Deadpool vs. X-Force 1, Campbell variant. Um, I think there's so much potential in this book. This is a book that you guys should be buying. Um, because I have a good feeling. I don't know if they've announced it or not. But uh, I really think that Deadpool 2 will be called Deadpool vs. X-Force. Um, and I could just see this as the poster. I mean, there's Cable. I think Domino's rumored to be in it. Uh, I mean, this book has so much potential right now. Um, uh, and it's cheap enough that you should be picking it up. It's like 120 um, for this variant. Uh, I think 200, 250 slabbed. So yeah, gr get it, slab it, hold on to it. Uh, Gotham City Sirens, um, one, let's see, the trade press any of these? No. Uh, this was not pressed. Uh, I have another copy that I sent to Trey um, that's in a submission with five other books, or four other books. So hopefully that comes back this week. But this was not pressed uh, 9.8 um, Jones variant. So I was pretty happy with that. Howard the Duck, Ron Lim, 9.8. This book is so expensive. It's way too expensive, but, you know, people are paying it. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, White Ranger, Zero, 9.8. Um, here's a book that Trey pressed, uh, Defenders 2, Chris Stevens, uh, Venom Variant, 9.8. Um, did a great job there. It was like a pretty big uh, spine crease right there that he got out. Um, here's a really hard book to find. Uh, Empire of the Dead, um, Sui Dim, 1 in 75 variant. Uh, this is another book that Trey pressed um, and did a great job on it. This book is really hard to find raw, let alone in a high-grade raw, let alone actually graded. Um, so I was really happy with that. Uh, here's another book, Trey Press, New Mutants 87, 9.6. It was probably a 9.2 that he pressed up. Here's, um, Marvel Premiere 15, 8.0. This was a VG copy that Trey pressed up to an 8.0. I mean, that, that's incredible. Uh, Boys 1, um, 9.8. I think there's, this book is like 250 bucks right now, um, slab. Um, hopefully they, uh, the, it's moving forward. Hopefully the show's moving forward. Um, Wolverine's 3 Perel, variant 9.8. Um, Green Lantern's 55. Um, Mankey variant 9.8. Um, uh, here's one that I tried to press. Black Widow 6, uh, 9.8. Um, such a great cover. And that covers, and Trey did a great job because this book wasn't in bad shape. It had these little, little tiny creases. But to get those little creases out, it, that's really, really tough to do. Uh, especially on this white cover. But he, he, he did a fantastic job. Um, he got me a 9.8 on it. Um, Superior Spider-Man 20, 9.8. Oh, another Campbell variant. Um, another Trey Press book. Another trade press book, Teen Titans 75, Hughes variant 9.8. Uh, here's a book I won off a of tray. I'm sure he pressed it. Um, I won it off of him probably about a year ago. Uh, Deadpool 45, 50th anniversary, Ultimate Spider Man variant. Uh, there's a mouthful. Uh, Greg Horn, um, 9.8. This book is so expensive right now, so who knows? Uh, I don't know what it's, I think it's going for about 900, maybe 750. And a 9.8. There's a big price difference. I just don't know. Uh, Red Hood, Matina variant. Um, yeah, talk about talk about a hard to find book. Um, you don't see 9.8s for this. So I don't even know how to price this book. There's a 9.6 up for sale now at um, a 1,200. Uh, that doesn't mean they've gotten it. Um, they'll probably get, I would guess, about 900. Uh, I, I would expect this to go for about twelve, thirteen hundred, just because it doesn't pop up that often, and people want high grades. Um, so yeah, I I think this is easily uh, like a twelve, thirteen hundred dollar book in this slab, um, but we'll see because it's, it's, it hasn't really been tested. Um, the next book up is a book I was really excited about. Um, oh, Trey Press that Red Hood too. I don't know if I said that or not. 
uh, Mission Impossible 1, the recalled direct edition, uh, 9.8. So I don't know if you guys know the story behind this book. Uh, copies were sent out to Tom Cruise. This is all rumor and speculation. But copies were sent out to Tom Cruise to preview the book before it went out. And uh, rumor is he thought that he looked too effeminate in one of the two of the panels on page three. And he called Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers called Marvel, and they they recalled the book. Uh, they about two hundred to three hundred copies of the newsstand edition made it out to this is the direct edition, but the newsstand made it out to the UK because um, they're preview books and they're getting them out early. But they were able to catch the direct edition US um, line, and they scrapped it all. But the rumor is about probably. Uh, they said no more than 20 copies. This is all, who knows what these numbers really are. But no more than 20 copies went out. So to find, and there were some books, I think this went, saw some sales in 2015. A 9.4 sold for about 850. So what does this go for? I don't know. This is kind of one of a kind. Um, the, there is a 9.8 on the census, but it's a new stand because I've seen it for sale um, a couple times on eBay. Uh, and so this is the only 9.8, um, direct edition. So what it would go for, I have no clue. Um, it, it's dependent on, you know, if, if other people are out there like me, uh, who like recalled comics and era comics. Um, for me, this was kind of the crown jewel for a lot of them. Um, that in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the Marvel, uh, douche ad, uh, is, uh, one of those for me as well. Um, but I think I love these books with with stories like that. Uh, and Trey pressed that. This was probably a 9.2. And he pressed it up to a 9.8. And when he told me, it was like, yeah, maybe 9.6 tops for it. But yeah, he sold himself short. 9.8. Um, Trey Kenyon, uh, Mr. Presser, you guys got to get your books pressed with him. Another Trey Kenyon press, uh, Batman Adventures, 9.8. Uh, yeah. Uh, this was a book I would have never bought if it wasn't for Trey because he is the master of of buying high price books, um, pressing them, slabbing them, and turning them into 9.8s. So I saw this this gray copy. I had a couple um, spine creases in there, but they looked pressable. I had it in my head. They looked pressable. I had a tray in my head. Um, so I bought it. They had it for $400, talking down to $350. Um, I sent it to Trey to get pressed, and, and yeah, 9.8. I mean, it makes such a big difference to get things pressed because if I hadn't, it probably would have been a 9.0, I would guess. Um, but man, it, may, it makes such a difference. Even if it was a 9.6, the price difference market-wise, a 9.6 sells for $800, $900. Um, a 9.8 sells for about $2,000. Uh, I mean, that's a huge gap. Um, it just shows the demand there is for high-grade copies. Um, so yeah, get your stuff pressed by Trey. Even if it's books that you think are perfect, um, just send them just in case. Because a press will just help it. Um, maybe even get you like to a 9.9 or something. You never know. But yeah, so big thanks to Trey for the press. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate it.